What's going on everybody? Welcome to G Maya's World and I had some very interesting questions being asked about Barry Sanders so I thought I should go ahead and touch base on it. Uh, pretty much what you guys want to know is is it worth it to get the new ghost Barry Sanders even though we know that Bo Jackson is coming? Before we go ahead and get into that I'm going to ask everybody to go ahead and like the video. Thank you guys so much. We're going to go ahead and jump right into um, you know, statistically speaking, what you're going to be getting from Bo Jackson versus a Barry Sanders. Now, before I get into that, I just want to point out to you guys that because these guys are past, um, you know, Ghost of Madden past players, the, uh, the Derek Brooks, the Barry Sanders, all the stuff like that, you guys are able to go ahead and gamble with these situations. Um, you know, I don't see any reason why, you know, if you guys want a Nat version of it because you already have a Barry Sanders and you want to gamble with that, you could, all, you could do that as well. But like I said, I don't want to recommend to you guys to do these things if it's not something that, you know, is, is going to be financial, you know, financially respective of what your situation is. If you're kind of dead broke, you know what I'm saying, bro? You don't really want to go so hard to put together all this snow like that. You might want to just go with a Nat if you already have it powered up. I see that a lot of you guys... Uh, are still going to be trying to power up several um, several other players that are being newly released, including um, you know the Rod Woodson and stuff like that, which I'm not too fond of. That limited time Rod Woodson is pretty bad. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to type in Barry Sanders over here. As a matter of fact, we could just probably go, because he is a ghost of the past, right? We could probably just go and do it this way so that way it's easier so you guys can get an idea of what's going on. Uh, you know, the value of his card right now is definitely going to drop in the next couple days. So is it something that, you know, you should, you know, jump on right now? Uh, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, it's very, very difficult for me to just go ahead and say, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, jump on it, jump on it. Because I already know, like, let me, let me just, let me just point this out, right? You see, like, one is one, four, I think he's a lot cheaper than 1.59, by the way, and 1.7. So we're just going to use this, right? We're going to go ahead and bring up the compare tool, right? And we're going to give you guys a kind of an idea of what's going on. Now, Ricky Williams chemmed up fully right now was a 96 speed. Barry Sanders, when you actually go ahead and power him up, like to the, you know, to his base power up, he's going to be a 96 speed, right? Then you're going to add the plus three speed from the sprinter chem and from John Madden coach, if you do have that addition to it, right? Now, you're probably saying, why would EA re release Barry Sanders a couple days before Bo Jackson? It's for preference. And that's what I'm starting to realize with what they're doing. A lot of the things that are being released, we don't like it because of our teams not needing the cards. That doesn't mean that you may not need the card. All right. Now, is it going to still exhibit a suitable amount of rage out of me? Yes, it is, because I'm still waiting patiently for Randy Moss and Bo Jackson. All right. So with that being said, the possibility of Bo Jackson not happening in Christmas is very, very slim. It's very, very slim. Like I would be shocked based on all the pre-released um, information, even before this promo came out, that Bo Jackson would be a part of the Christmas promo, I would be completely shocked if we didn't see him. All right, so what does that mean? What's going to happen is this. The reason that I bring up Ricky Williams and I show you these numbers like this is because more than likely, Bo Jackson is going to be the same exact card for the most part with a neck roll. That's pretty much what you're going to get. And... It's good. I don't see now. Now I'm a little bit more cautious because would they give Bo Jackson also a 99 speed? They should, but I don't know if they will. They might keep him under and make you have to have like a certain amount of players for the Raiders or whatever in order to get him to a 99 speed. It might not be as easy as this Barry Sanders card to get it to that level, but he should be 99 speed. I just don't know if they'll actually give him that type of love. Because if he's 99 speed with a crazy spin move, crazy truck, he's the complete back. His price is probably going to be very, very wild for a very, very long time. But again, he's the only card that I would be willing to pull packs for. Maybe they'll make him like the ultimate zero chill master or something like that. But when you put them up against each other, there's no comparison that Bo Jackson in Madden, right? In Madden, we're going to want Bo more than we're going to want Barry. It is, it's just, it is what it is. Bo Jackson's name will forever, even when we're all gone, will forever ring bells if people can look back historically and see what that man's name meant. You know what I'm saying? So when you analyze it like this and you look at these two numbers, you look at the ratings, you see what's going on, 99 speed versus probably a little bit slower. Let's say they make him 97 speed because that'll be an interesting point. Make him 97 speed with crazy acceleration, truck, which Barry Sanders obviously lacks. Now, as far as the trucking situation goes, 
That's also another interesting question that some of you guys have been asking. G. Maya, how important is truck? If you guys watch the competitive Madden that's been going on with the Madden Championship, you would see that a lot of people were getting the power backs like Leonard Fournette. And in those modes, it works a lot because the teams are not as OP. When you play Mutt head-to-head, -head, mostly everyone has like a 95 and above team that you'll run into in weekend league and head-to-head -head seasons. So they're, all their defenders are going to have secure tackler. They're going to be strafing like idiots. It's going to be harder to break those tackles. Okay, so when you start to ask me about it, it depends. Ideally, you should have it on your salary cap team because... You, you can't have like really too much of a monster team, so that's going to probably help you a lot more than not. You see what I'm saying? With this type of situation right now, when you, like with me, I don't really care about salary cap anymore. I'm just playing mutt. We're grinding out. We're taking advantage of everything that EA offers. We're completing sets and just having fun with the game. Um, I think it's like not that big of a deal because you don't always go for the truck, but it is better to have the truck so that you can fall forward, and that helps your thought process with it, Okay. Putting everything together and understanding exactly the type of backfield you want to have, you should ideally have a power back, and you should, you know, have an elusive back. Now, Ricky Williams is all-purpose in this game. You see what I'm saying? And then on the side of that, you then have Franco Harris. You see, with, with, with the way that my situation is set up, now that you've looked at Barry Sanders and you understand what you're getting with the 99 speed, I'm going to go ahead now, and I'm going to show you exactly... You know, what am I thinking is going to happen? All right, that's pretty much, that. that's just to give you guys some insight to understand about the card, what's going on with it. What, why do I think that, you know, it's not going to be worth it for most of, uh, most of us? Multiple, multiple people that view, like, you know, like that look at my team and view it and they have multiple schemes and they have multiple uh, same setup teams. You know what I'm saying? Just complete mimicking of my team or whatever. When you look at this roster, Barry Sanders is not going to make my team better. Now, another thing that you guys have been talking about is, you know, the dual red chems and all the kind of stuff that Barry Sanders can get and a lot of these past players. I understand all that. And I do understand about Ogden also. And I understand that he's like, you know, souped up 90s everywhere. I understand also that he's very slow. And what happens is if he doesn't have that footwork, he's going to get eaten up. Because dudes are sending Jadavian Clowney off the edge. Uh, you got uh, LT coming off the edge. It's savages. Aaron Donald, you got Alan Page. You got dudes like this coming off the edge. So you're not going to have time to do all the things that you want to if you don't have the speed to get out there. And that's the one thing that I noticed with the offensive line, which is why I told you guys I'm going after speed as far as my offensive line is concerned. A lot of my linemen are suitably fast. You know, Lane Johnson, 83 speed. This guy's in the 70s. This guy's in the 70s. He's getting up there. You know, Zach Maher is probably my slowest lineman. So these are the things that I want to address to make sure you guys understand what's going on completely. Bo Jackson meets the criteria because Bo Jackson is pretty much Ricky Williams, just more souped up. And then we could go ahead and we could, like, you know, relieve Saquon Barkley of his duties. Now, he comes in, and due to the zone run right there, I know a lot of you guys are like, yo, G. Maya, you can have a lot of dual chems and all that stuff like that. I can't really dual chem my guys because I use the sprinter chem on all of them. So even with like my Team Diamond, you get an option of a physical chem or an additional scheme chem. I'm keeping that speed chem on him because that sprinter matters. And for some way, uh, somehow, some reason, they give us an additional way to have the sprinter and two chems, I will then duel the chems up. Trust me, guys, I'm aware of what I'm doing. All right, so that's the reason behind it. I could easily do whatever, but it wouldn't benefit me at all because the starters wouldn't have it right now because you can't give it to them. It's either sprinter or bust. And I'm going with the speed, and I need these guys to have those things going on. Now, I could, um, you know, once everybody gets set up, put sprinter, double sprinter on other players and just keep my line basic without it. But, you know, that'll be also risky because when you run toss plays or stretches and stuff like that, and you see the speed of how they get out, it definitely helps. But that would be another alternative once my players are able to get the dual chems. Because like guys like Hutchinson, I don't even think... Does he meet the criteria to get dual chems yet? I don't think he does. You know what I'm saying? So with this, does he? No. You see, like some of these guys only get that option. The Team Diamond players have been able to get it all year round. But some players are still not able to do it. So you got to be careful, you know, because right now I think only Lane Johnson can do it. J Lane Johnson will have the option because he is a Team Diamond to, you know, forego the sprinter chem for something else. You know, for one of the scheme chems or something like that. So in that case, when everybody can do this, that's when I will do that. When they like everybody will have that dual situation. You know what I'm saying? But as far as I know right now, 
it's not open to a lot of the other players with high overalls. It could be with the Ghost of Madden players. Like, I know that um, some of the players are able to do it with the higher overalls, but we have to wait to see how EA um, allows that to happen. Let's take a look at Shannon Sharp also because he is a 97 right now. Just so, you know, just because we're on the subject, I, I still think that, you know, he gets double red chems with abilities, but I don't think that, yeah, he doesn't get it either. So we have to wait to see how that rolls, if they're going to try to give us another slot later, because that would be ideal. And then we would have to forego the sprinter to give them the other chem, which would be power run. So they'll be just dual, be ready to go. And then luckily, you know, hopefully, we, not, not hopefully, I don't want to use hope on Madden. I apologize for that. But um, we could probably do other things with our running backs also by giving them the dual, uh, uh, you know, the dual um, chem with the physical and the scheme. But we'll just give them two schemes and take away the sprinter if it, you know, if it, if it doesn't really affect what we're trying to do as far as the backup position. Now, again, with this situation of the Bo Jackson and the Barry Sanders, right? You guys right now, if you've already had a Barry Sanders on your team, you should go ahead and power it up. You see what I'm saying? Because it's not going to cost you that much to do it right now. If you, like, if you wait a couple of days, once Bo Jackson is released, all the other running back prices are going to drop anyway. Except for like maybe Todd Gurley and a couple other guys that they might soup up you know, a little bit sooner. Um, everybody's price is going to drop. So... When you analyze it like that, Bo Jackson is still probably going to be my starter, and then Ricky Williams is going to be the backup. And then we still got Franco Harris in case we just – because he's just glitchy in the game. You see what I'm saying? But the zone run that we have them with, with the additional spin move and stuff like that, I can't say that it really adds that much as far as the spin move goes. But let me tell you something. That zone run on my linemen, I've noticed better blocking. Like they literally go out there and try to make a block now. But the spin move is also glitchy. So whatever they give Bo Jackson, Bo Jackson is going to be the most well-rounded next to Ricky Williams. He's pretty much going to be a taller Ricky Williams with a, with a neck roll. All right? So it depends on what you want. You can, you can lurk the auction house, get the Barry Sanders, but if you guys already are level 70 and you have Ricky Williams, you don't need those two. Because at most, you need two good backs. So Ricky Williams and, and Bo Jackson pretty much... That's pretty much game over. Franco Harris, it's like GG's. You put him in certain formation with those three guys in there with that speed, you can do whatever you want. And then we got to see the kind of abilities that Bo Jackson will possibly get. So that'll probably make him even better. So in my opinion, I'm going to wait it out. If you guys think that it's smarter to go after Barry now and have him as a backup and put Ricky Williams as your third, that's on you guys. Because more than likely, even if you run the ball a lot, you still can be able to have enough stamina with these, you know, with Bo Jackson and Ricky Williams to just run the ball down somebody's throat and then go ahead with Franco Harris or, you know what I'm saying, with, on, on the side and just come in and just do wild stuff with a 92 speed. Because he has a 92 speed, sick trucking, and then with zone run, his spin move is an 89, so he's above the threshold. You see what I'm saying? Even though he was spin moving dudes before that, he's still now, I've noticed that he's a lot better with it. All right, so those are some of the things I just wanted to point out with you guys because you had, you know, it was very, very interesting questions and I'm always going to try my best to answer when I can. So thank you guys for watching. You know, hopefully you guys have, you know, subscribed, you liked, you did all those good things and you follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and things of those natures to know everything that I'm doing, when I'm going live, what games I'm playing, which I'm still contemplating getting 2K, guys. I am going to make the decision before Christmas while it's on sale in the PSN store. So I'll keep you guys aware of that. Thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.